There we go. All right. We'll see you on Sunday. What a great group. So, all right, all Sunday. Right. Thanks, Brad. Hey. Rejection is never easy to deal with, whether it's a prospective lover or a prospective job. Phil Blair from Manpower is here to talk about the job end of it. He's not particularly qualified <laughs> as an expert for the other. Well, we could talk no, about that, too. No, I mean, if you want to do a little stick with segue the here. On the, yeah, let's go with jobs. Let's I think. stick yeah. with the job. And, 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 and according to this that I'm reading here from your information, therapists say that job rejection can lead to as much as to much depression is being jilted by a prospective lover. No, it really is. It's, yeah. it's, it, and we need to take it seriously. I mean, we sort of joke about it. it right. It's a tough thing. You've put a lot of energy and a lot of work into, into this interview process and the resume and several interviews, and it's down to right. two people, and you're, and if you don't get it, it's you, a tough situation. You have to have a tough shell, because I'm, and, and my business, particularly as a, as a younger journalist, you get rejected several times. <laughs> you're, you're, you're trying to move up in the business, and you, you may go after something that maybe is a little bit too big for you at the time, or whatever the reason. you got to take it well, because you never know what's going to happen in the future, too, as far as that future employer. Well, David, that's really important, because a lot of times people get a temper tantrum. I didn't want that job anyway. I didn't want to work there. Mm -hmm. You yeah, made the wrong decision. Them. I yeah. was much better at... Hold it. You put a lot of energy in wanting to go to work at that company. Yeah. And those people that didn't select you for this job may be the people for the next job. So be very gracious yeah. and very professional about it. And you might also ask, what could I have done differently? Or what did another, mm -hmm. another candidate, not the candidate, what did another candidate have that, that you didn't see in my background to learn something? Okay, that's outwardly. But inwardly, as far as taking care of yourself, how do you handle it? You have, you have several, yeah. you have a list here. Process your emotions, first of all. Yeah, I mean, don't deny it. Like, oh, nothing happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a, it's a sad, depressing sure. moment. It's a life but, moment. Yeah. But don't dwell on it. And I especially want to tell people, you're going to go for several jobs and not get them. And in an interview, I don't want that to come through to me. I, I interview people and, and train people that they're sitting there like, let's get this interview over with. You're not going to hire me. Nobody else has hired me. I don't want to go through this thing. You're just going to reject me and get it over with. Mm -hmm. Boy, can I see that. So you really got to be on your game sure. after the disappointment of, an, of the, another job. And it involves exercise. Mm -hmm. Get active. Get your network going. Get out with people. Don't go home and sulk for two or three yeah. days about it. Yeah. Uh, create a list of bragging rights. Yeah. I mean, it's sort of like talk to the mirror. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? They didn't. I wasn't selected for that job, but I'm still it's really good me. at this. It's not me. It was you. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't give you that. Okay. But, um, <laughs> but it was their loss. Yeah. And sorry for them, because I'm really good at this, and I'm really good at this. So you're like all you're all puffed up again and ready yeah. to go, because you're going to have several balls in the air. Which, yeah, which kind of leads to the next one. Never take it personally. Either. Yeah, it, it's a job, right? Mm -hmm. They're not saying I don't like you, Dave. They're yeah. not saying you're a bad person. You're a jerk. Yeah. I just they may didn't be, see. But, well, but that, not necessarily. Yes. And now that okay. we're using you as an example, we could be <laughs> saying that. Oh man, I'll set oh, myself up for that one. You open that one up, right? right? But. They're not rejecting you as a mm -hmm. person. They're they're finding somebody else they felt was a better match. And it may not be skills, it may be corporate yeah. culture, maybe personalities. But hey, what did I learn from this? Let's move yeah. on. I interview better, my resume's better, and I'm on to the next one. And you mentioned exercise, and really exercise. Yes. That's what you're saying. Get yeah. out there and get to the gym, go running, whatever you do, do it. Get in a pattern of long walks. I, yeah. I'm a believer in this when you do get the job. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's very stressful being in a job search market. And, and we all get that. But going for a mile or two walk every morning to sort of set yourself up and get yeah. ready, because you got to get back into the game of networking and calling. And never give up, never surrender, always network, even after the fact. After, and follow up on that job. You know, mm -hmm. I'm a believer in calling like two weeks later hey, after the start. And the go, person you hired? Yeah, right. Because every once in a while, it's like, you know what? We might have made a mistake. <laughs> so, okay. And or another job at that company. Right. Right. There's no. All so right. there's lots of options. Just own the situation, deal with it, and move on. All right. Next week, lover rejection. Yes. All right. We'll right. write that one. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> After more than three decades of setbacks, the Hollywood Casino in Hamul.